Okay, so to link um, the Google Panoramic Photos together, what you first have to do is actually upload them. Um, they don't link together when they're not uploaded. So uh, if we look at these three that's up here, when they're not uploaded, you um, can actually tap on the screen to add blur. So if I press and hold, I can actually add a blur to the uh, to the image. So if I've got a person's face. Uh, or number plate and you can tap on the screen where you want it to be blurred add blur and a ticket now you can't do this after it's uploaded you have to do it before so adding any blur in first and make sure it's saved the second thing is to actually make sure the location is set correctly because once again after it's uploaded then you can't actually change the location it's slightly off there Okay, and the same, so I've got three here. Need, none of them actually need blurring, but it's always worth checking the location. It's actually on this road here. So, on this path, rather. But if you can, to be a bit more accurate, if you actually use a satellite view. Um, but that's close enough. So uh, check that the pictures are actually stitched correctly. If you're using the camera, uh, like I did, I actually used the uh, the phone app, and it doesn't always stitch together that well. You can see there's a bit of a problem with the bridge there. Uh, but sometimes you do get a black uh, vertical line down the centre of the, the screen, and it completely ruins the photo, so you have to delete it and start again. As long as the photos are fine, then it's just a case of actually uploading them. And obviously they'll take a few seconds to actually um, become public. So in that case, what we're actually going to do is just pause the video whilst that happens. Okay, so uh, two of the photos have now uploaded. Um, the third one is just doing, uh, just finishing off now. So if we go to profile, you should see that the last two photos on there are the ones we were looking at a minute ago, and the other one nearly done just now okay so once those uh, are up what you got to do is open up the first photo that you want to link together yeah so that's the first one i took because i took it uh, adjacent to the path you see the third one is now done now same as when you uh, click and hold in to do the blurring effect this time you have to click and hold on the path to tell it where you want the arrow to go at that point it's going to open up the um, other photos that you took and it will tell you when the photos were taken so you can say this one was taken two meters away 15 hours later that's not actually true uh, that's actually should be minutes later let's just have a look at this I don't know why the time is off on that and it isn't normally it's saying it's taken 15 hours later which is not the case both two meters away both 15 hours later okay uh, anyway you select the one that you want and it doesn't always load up I'll be honest uh, we do have a bit of trouble with this it looks like that's not that one it should be this one we want I think this is the next one that's taken so this is the problem we get it doesn't always like to load up Let's uh, start again. Unfortunately, this is a uh, problem with the app. It does do this a lot. Um, so let's open up that first one. I was actually in a demonstration with Google yesterday and they're having exactly the same problem in their demonstration, unfortunately. Now, we have been told that the photos should actually link themselves together um, if you leave them, the, the photo recognition software realises that two photos are close together and actually links them. I haven't seen this happen yet. Uh, let's try again. So press and hold. Here we are, that's a better look. Two metres away, 52 seconds later. Two metres away, one minute later. Um, you can change the order to do it by time. So now it's doing it two days early, 52 seconds later. But I'm going to do it by distance again, it makes more sense. This one's two metres away, 
52 seconds later. That's the picture I want. What I need to know, what I need to make sure is this one here is facing the same direction as this picture here. So if you see on both pictures the bridge is in front of me and it's facing exactly the same way. As long as I'm sure that's the case, I just press the tick button and that links those two together. I can then test that by going backwards and then forwards again. I've got a third photo as you know to link together which was taken 44 seconds later, 4 metres away. Once again, it's not loaded up properly, look. So I bet you if I tick on this, we're going to get the same issue again. This is the problem with linking a lot of photos together using this app. But apparently, like I say, they are supposed to link themselves if you leave them. If you take a lot, a lot of photos in a big batch, one after the other, they should actually link together. Let's look, 44 seconds later. Okay, it's just not loading up, so I'm going to try it the other way around. I'm actually going to come out of here and choose the last photo, which is that one, I believe. It's just not processing properly. I'm going to close the app down, restart again. Open it again. Okay. So this time we're going to go this way. And it's going to be that one. This time facing that way again. Always make sure it's. Uh, I'll try and make sure it's eye level, not looking down at the the floor, but looking up, as if you were walking. Press tick and hopefully there you go, there's the start, that's the first one we did. Second and third. Okay, and that's it. Now, one thing I would say is keep an eye on these. I've once again the app's not brilliant. I've known these to unlink. So keep an eye on it, uh, especially if you're doing a tour, uh, because you've got access to it, so you can just relink them back up again. I'm keen to see the auto linking, uh, if that will work, that'll save a lot of time. Apparently all you need to do is in the settings, make sure that you've got the for hire on, um, because it only works on Street View trusted members. Uh, Geotag 360s and... Um, I think that's what you need really, you need the geotagging. So as long as you've got those on, then that actually it works for you. If you've got the available for higher switch stuff, I don't believe it will. Once again, I've not seen it happen, actually happen myself, but apparently it does, so I'll be keen to uh, make use of that facility. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.